Hey guys, welcome to pre-travel day. I cannot believe this is finally here. Uh, I've been looking forward this, to this for a very long time. We both have. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is we have all our bags and stuff back here. Um, my husband is in a last minute meeting um, that's very important. So I'm waiting in the car for him and then we're gonna go grab some lunch and then head to the airport to stay overnight at this really cool new hotel that I'm gonna show you at JFK Airport and you and I will see it for the first time. So I'm very excited to show it to you and I will see you, I guess, if not during lunch, then when we get to the hotel. See you soon. Oh my God, you guys, we just checked into TWA Hotel. I wanna give you guys a room tour first. When you come in through the doors right here, you have TWA logos everywhere. This is a vintage like hotel that was transformed from a TWA terminal when it closed. They opened it back up um, years later as a hotel. So you have these cute like champagne and martini glasses, a little wet bar here. And we have a little fridge with drinks. Um, I'm guessing things you can put your coat on and hangers. And the bathroom is really cute. You have your TWA hotel towels and lotion, um, conditioner and shampoo. It's a pretty decent shower too. It's really big. Big, huge mirror, hello. And you have even TWA soap. Plenty of towels. And then you come out here, you have a little desk area and some health and safety guidelines down here. Our big, humongous bed. An actual working rotary phone right there. And best of all, look at this view. You can see all the planes taking off and landing. We're right next to the JetBlue terminal. So we actually walk from this hotel into JFK Airport, into JetBlue terminal. And that's where we go and get our plane tomorrow morning. Beautiful day, although it's supposed to snow tomorrow, which kind of stinks, but yeah. So look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Wireless phone charger next to the bed. And it has USB and it has this light, which I don't know how to turn on. I'm not sure. The little plugs, humongous TV. And oh, there's like a little drawer down here. Oh, look at that, that's cute. So yeah, we're gonna take a look at the rest of the hotel shortly, but I wanted to show you guys how cute this room is. This was, I think 159 for the night. And I asked for a runway view which i think normally costs more but the lady was really really nice and she gave us this there you go you guys i cannot believe this pool it is 95 degrees that's why it's steaming because it's like 20 something degrees out it was beautiful view I just can't get over this. Like, there's JFK Airport, like right there. There's the JetBlue, all the JetBlue planes right there. Oh my God, this is crazy. And I guess when it's nicer out, they have a bar over there, but it's not open. This is ridiculous, I love it. There's no way I'm going swimming, but it's very cool. All right, now I've come upstairs. There's like a little seating area. Oh, you can see the rooms across the way. So yeah, there's a lot of empty rooms. And over here, a little water feature, very relaxing. They have these vintage uniforms from different times. Wow. This is really, really cool.
1965 to 68, 55 to 60, copyright things on around here there's more seating there we go the grape area right here good morning happy travel day oh my gosh it's not even light out yet it's like six o'clock in the morning and i just found out what gate we are and i can actually see my plane from the window so let me show you which plane it is before we even leave our hotel i know i can see it it's so cool. Oh, and it's my birthday. Happy travel day birthday. So we are gate three, which is right there. I know it's a little blurry, but it's right there. That's our plane. That's our plane. She is ready and waiting for us. So we're just going to finish getting ready, uh, pack up whatever we used last night, and then heading to the airport or to the gate and I'll show you how close it is from the hotel literally like steps away okay so we just came off the elevator we're coming down this hall and I'm going to show you how to get to the JetBlue terminal from here I hope there's no copyright things going on because I can't stop the music from playing I tell you, they had the monkeys playing when I uh, came down before. All right, so here is like the main area. And we were sitting up there last night having some really bad pizza from there. The food choices are not that great right now because everything's closed. They do have a restaurant, but it's not open. I think the lady said it was opening on Friday. So there's the JetBlue terminal right there. And you want this Saranen wing. And that is where we're going. How easy is that? You don't even have to go outside. Look at all the snowy I'm gonna go nasty. Huh? I'm gonna go oh, I'm sorry. He's, our bag is very heavy. It's got a scotch or a brandy on there. This is a whole desk. They're still flying regular domestic flights, aren't they? So I guess we gotta take this elevator. Present day jet blue. Oh, it's a good time. It's like a time machine. Hmm. We're leaving the 60s and going to present day JetBlue. On which way? What's opening? And here we are. Just like that.
in Disney Springs. As always, when we land, we have to go right to Disney Springs and get some lunch at Boathouse. So that's where we are going. And we'll see what's new around here. Oh, it's a little warm, but it feels nice. We went from 28 degree weather this morning to about 75. The balloon's not running. Here we are, Wine Bar Church. We want to do an Ampicar, hopefully this week. I want the red one. Oh, I'm so excited. And our food just came. I got the filet sliders. I'm getting the side of horseradish sauce to go with it. And you got the, what was it called? It's a yacht club. Yacht club, which is like turkey and cheese. And, oh, the french fries are amazing too. And we both got beers, which we already drank. So we're gonna dive into this. Look at this view, you guys. Oh, it's nice and breezy. There was a turtle. There's a hubcap down there. Is that a hubcap? No, I think that's. Uh, I think that's up. <laughs> the apple car is right here. This is where the apple car launches down. And because we ate at the boathouse, we get $25 off. We just have to show the receipt. And hopefully we'll do that soon. And this is the dockside bar outside a boathouse. And then you got all these cool boats there. And there's the boathouse. This is the back side of the boathouse the back side of water. I think the volcano's going off. Huh? Volcano's getting ready to go off. Oh, look at the little lizard. Hello, little lizard. I don't know if Carla Ren would like you being on him like that. And we're here. Oh my gosh. We're home. We're home. It's amazing. Ah. we are here in our room at the hard rock uh, i'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour i know i've done this in the past um so they have these cute like rock and roll hangers and regular hangers and then there's a safe in there they have a little kind of coffee tea bar over here with some french roast and stuff and a little keurig and down here they have a fridge and what's it oh nothing in there and then over here, we have our bathroom and our shower. It's like a regular shower tub combo with some products and stuff. Looks very clean and very nice. We have these cute mural of drumsticks up here. A nice big mirror, though I look horrible. Um, yeah, and then they have in here, like cotton swabs and Q-tips and stuff like that. Um, some plenty of towels up there. Um, let's see what else. We're a little bit messy because we just kind of dropped everything. I don't know if I showed this last time, this cool mirror. You can see how tall you are next to the different rock stars. So I'm like 5'4", so I'm like the same size as Madonna, pink. And Shakira? Oh, Shania Twain. So we are all the same size. So the tallest one, 6'4", is Snoop Dogg. And right under that is James Taylor. So in here we have a big TV. We just got Starbucks downstairs. I'll do a hotel tour later. Cool speaker kind of picture thing. 
and check out this beautiful view. There is Rip Ride Rocket, and you can see Hogwarts all the way over there. And the pool, of course. We'll do a tour down there later in the week. And there's a little kitty area right there. Just a few people down there. It's actually pretty warm today. It is almost 90. And this is February 9th. So there you go. They have these cool lamp things, like little reading lamps. And I got two queen size beds over here. Um, we have this cool kind of worn out mirror looking thing. Um, they give you hand sanitizer. I don't know, usually they charge you for the water, but there's no sign saying how much it is. So we just brought our own. Of course, a phone. And back here, you have plugs and a USB plug as well. You got two nice lamps here and a desk. And I think there's more USB stuff over here. Yeah, there's another one there too. So this is really nice. Plenty of room for all your clothes and stuff. And two seats over there. Another big lamp over there. So that is our room. I think we will be very, very comfortable here for the next few days. So again, we're only here for four days. And then the rest of the week, we're going over to Cabana Bay, which is our first time there. So we'll check that out. Oh, you could see, I wonder if the slide's working. You kind of see, oh yeah, it is. The top of the slide, like, oh, where is it? Right there. Very cool. I've been down that before. All right, we're gonna go relax. Um, I don't even know what time it is. And uh, next stop will be California Grill for dinner. So we'll see you then.